Here are 12 reasons to do a food-based fast. Today we're gonna to be talking about fasting, not starvation fasting, a food-based fast, because really no one wants to, and frankly, it, it's just not easy to go without food. So why fast? Why is it important? Well, going for extended periods of time without eating was completely normal for our hunter-gatherer ancestors. Killing an animal in the wild is not exactly easy, doesn't happen every day, and foraging for fruits and veggies and nuts led to periods of time of you know, abundance and scarcity depending on the seasons and frankly the terrain. As a result, we are biologically adapted to this style of eating. It wasn't until the Industrial Revolution that we had a steady supply of food. So fasting is actually more consistent with our ancient DNA, and so our bodies respond very well to it. So if you want to try a five-day food-based fast with us, click on the link below and sign up for free for our five-day food-based fast challenge. You see, when we eat, our body breaks down carbohydrates into sugar that our cells use for energy. If we have too much energy or glucose, it ultimately gets stored as fat. When you're fasting, your body burns fat instead of sugar for energy. Typically, it takes a minimum of 10 to 16 hours of not eating before you get this metabolic shift. And when your body uses fat for energy, it releases fatty acids called ketones into the bloodstream. You've probably heard of them. So really, let's talk about why you should do this. What are the benefits of fasting? Well, human clinical trials around fasting are a significant area of research at this time. So far, research has found many benefits to fasting. So let's go through some of those. There are 12 today. First, you get reduced inflammation. Studies show that fasting is able to fight oxidative stress and reduce inflammation, which are the two main drivers of aging and chronic disease. You also get better heart health. People who fast experience a drop in homocysteine levels, which is a major cardiovascular risk factor. They also show improvements in their total cholesterol to HDL cholesterol ratio, and it's been shown to help lower blood pressure and decrease your risk of heart disease. Number three, you get a lower cancer risk. Clinical trials using the food-based fast have shown that chemotherapy may actually be more effective during fasting periods. In addition, fasting seems to lower insulin-like growth factor one, which is a genetic marker for diseases like cancer. You may live longer on intermittent fasting. It's been shown to extend your lifespan and reduce age-related diseases. A 2019 study showed that people following time-restricted eating protocols like fasting, unregulated genes associated with longevity and autophagy. You'll get a more balanced blood sugar and reduced insulin. So if you're fasting, you've been shown to experience low blood glucose levels, lower insulin levels, and ideal cortisol patterns, which is your stress hormone. These benefits decrease fat storage and help prevent type 2 diabetes. Your growth hormones actually go up. Number six, human growth hormones appear to be unregulated after two to three days of fasting. So this hormone helps to preserve your your muscle and your bone density and promote the use of fat for fuel. And this is really significant since the hormone uh, the human growth hormone naturally decreases as we, as we age, which leads to an increase in fat and decrease in muscle mass. We all know this. You get improved gut health. Studies on patients with IBS, irritable bowel syndrome, found that fasting can ease the symptoms like diarrhea and abdominal pain. The food-based fast has been shown to reduce the inflammation and completely reverse some of the IBS symptoms. Fasting has also been shown to improve your gut microbiome and its diversity and promote the, you know, the proliferation of beneficial, beneficial bacteria. And what we study improved brain health. Patients following fasting protocols report a boost in mental energy, increased focus, and improved cognitive function. function. 
Really, we think that the keto, the ketones generated during a fasting have a neuroprotective effect, decreasing your risk from diseases like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. Really, we think that these benefits um, from the ketones help trigger the release of BDNF, your brain-derived neurotrophic factor, which strengthens your neural connections, particularly in the areas involved in your memory and learning. It's also been shown to promote the growth of new cells in your brain. Bigger brain, better. So you go into ketosis when you fast. We've talked about this. It allows you to enter a period where you are using up stored up glycerin for energy and it turns into ketones as a secondary source. So ketosis also helps with weight loss and blood uh, sugar regulation, hormonal balance and neuroprotection like we talked about. And really your digestion just gets a break. Your body gets a break from digesting food all the time. And what this does is it allows the, the migrating motor complex to go to work as an intestinal house cleaner, getting rid of the residual undigested material. Cleans house. Autophagy, we're hearing so much about this word lately. During autophagy, the body starts to regenerate itself by eliminating all those dysfunctional cells, making room for new healthy ones. Autophagy may help in the protection against diseases like cancer and dementia. Autophagy also includes the removal of damaged mitochondria, you know, your little energy centers in your cells. Autophagy is believed to help play a role in modulating energy, improving your brain health and decreasing inflammation and even improving your immunity. And you get a better circadian rhythm, which means you sleep better. You see, our ancestors ate during the day and fasted during the night. They didn't have artificial lights like we have all around us. So once the sun went down, they didn't eat. In our modern lives, well, we get to eat all night long if we want, and that disrupts our eating and sleeping cycles. So intermittent fasting can help regulate these circadian rhythms and improve your metabolism and your sleep. When you realign your eating patterns with your biological clock, we can improve our weight regulation and get back in sync with our ancestral genes, our bodies. So hi, I'm Julia Lundstrom, a neuroscience and brain health educator and the CEO of Simple Smart Science. The five-day food-based fast is a whole food fast created by us here at Simple Smart Science based upon research done by Walter Longo at the USC Longevity Institute. And essentially, this fast mimics the effect of fasting without getting rid of all the food and only drinking water. So when you join us on our five-day fasting challenge by clicking the link below, you'll be following a very carefully constructed meal plan that'll produce similar results to completely fasting. And we're gonna be here to get you set up for success. So here's what you can expect and what you're gonna get when you join us for this five-day challenge you will be eating significantly less food than you're used to, but it's important to trust the process. Of course, if at any time you're not responding well to the fast, just trust and listen to your body and stop it. You're gonna get a shopping list, don't worry, you'll spend a lot less on food over the five days than you normally do. You're gonna get a list of recommended supplements to take and where to find them, what stores, and you're also gonna get a food swap list in case you don't like or you have allergies to any of the foods that we recommend on the fast. Then we're gonna give you two different, not one, but two different meal plans to follow depending on how far you wanna go. One meal plan is a little bit more strict than the other. We're just, we leave it up to you. They both work very well. So this fast lasts for five days. During the fast, you're gonna consume 1,100 calories on the first day and then around 800 calories over the next four days each day. Uh, the diet is formulated with a specific low-carb, nutrient-dense whole foods. This allows your body to enter in ketosis, which we've talked about. It's gonna break down and recycle all those damaged cells. It's gonna activate your stem cells and it's going to decrease the, the visceral and abdominal fat without losing your lean muscle mass. I do need to talk about a few precautions. You know, if you're feeling lightheaded or you're having trouble with your day-to-day -day activities, just continue the fast. 
Do not do a fast if you're pregnant or breastfeeding. Those little guys, they need those nutrients. It's not advised for anybody who has a history of eating disorders, um, if you're diabetic, or if you have a history of fainting, or really if you have any chronic illness. Please consult with your doctor before performing a fast. Drink plenty of water while you're fasting. You're gonna want it and need it. Uh, we don't recommend to exercise while fasting, but going on, I mean, hard, you know, hit exercises, but going on a walk is, is always great. Uh, don't expose yourself to extreme temperatures like an ice bath or a sauna or jacuzzi. And lastly, please, please, please don't drink alcohol while performing your fast. You'll ruin all the benefits that you work so hard for, and it's really bad for your brain. So although a food-based fast has many incredible benefits, we do encourage those with specific medical conditions or those over the age of 65 to please contact your doctor. We are not responsible for anything. This is just simply information for you to go do a fast. Talk to your doctor if you have any concerns at all. We typically re recommend fasting two to six times a year. I like to do it two times a year in the spring to get ready for summer and in the fall to clear out all the fun times and bad habits that come with playing in the summer sun all summer long. So go ahead and click on the link now to get in on our five day food-based fast challenge for free. It'll be worth it. Thank you.